Ask credit by your chief Blumey. What is something you cannot believe modern technology hasn't fixed yet? Companies can take money out of my accounts in like 10 seconds but if I need a refund sometimes it takes a week or more. Or just credit cards. My card is issued by my bank. They take the money immediately and it shows up as a payment 3 days later. Why isn't there a process to re-enamel teeth? While we are at it updating dental insurance to be like health insurance 20 copay done instead I'm paying 40% out of pocket and still paying my dental premiums. Why my new boxer shorts are packaged in a ziplock bag but cereals are not. They want you to eat the cereal faster so you have to buy more. It's a feature, not a bug. I wear a hearing aid. If you get a hearing aid wet it quits working. If you sweat into a hearing aid wax builds up and makes the hearing aid not work. If I take a shower I have to wait at least 30 minutes for my ear canal to dry before being able to hear, without potentially breaking my hearing aid. You'd have thought that science could make a waterproof hearing aid. And who knows, there might possibly be one out there but I can only afford the cheapest models which are still like $3000. I just want to be able to do something that makes me sweat but also be able to hear at the same time. Last year OTC hearing aids became available for sale. I saw some water resistant Sony ones for 899.99 at Best Buy. Tinnitus. Edit, wasn't expecting this many replies. Thanks, everyone, for sharing your stories and advice. It means a lot to me. Hopefully relief will come soon. Seriously. And I hate explaining it to people, and they always respond with oh I get that. No, I don't get it, I have it. Constantly. Always. Forever. Tooth decay. They are currently in trials on a drug that regrows teeth https colon slash slash global news dot ca slash news slash nine nine eight four six zero five slash tooth dash regrowth dash drug slash we can do open heart surgeries organ transplants and have some genic therapies but we still cannot do anything really effective against skin scars my teenage daughter is prone to calloid scars where the scar is raised rather than flat she recently had knee surgery, MPFL reconstruction, and her scars are indeed calloid. There's no treatment for them. Surgical removal is not an option because that has the opposite effect and makes them worse most of the time. So she's 16 and will wear these raised scars on her kneecap for the rest of her life. Thankfully she doesn't develop the type of calloid scars that continue to grow. Spinal cord damage, paralysis. Nerve damage in general we can't fix. If the body doesn't manage to fix it within about a year, it's gone. Yet half of the population can grow an entirely new spinal cord inside of itself for a new human being. It's so frustrating. I've been driving for over 30 years and I still can't believe in all that time they haven't invented economically viable lane markings that are visible in the rain. Strange thing too. The lane markings are visible from side on and the passenger seat but not head in from the driver's perspective. I hate driving in the rain for this reason. Conversely, why do we have nothing that actually blocks the blinding sun while we drive? Most visors do not cover the width of half the windshield and side window, and do not slide or extend sideways or down to catch sun as you go around corners or when the sun is close to the horizon. I live in the flat midwest where you can see an area hill for miles, so that sunset is literally below eye level. Sunglasses and visors can only do so much. Can I get light cancelling glasses that dim just the spot where the sun is burning into my retina? I remain amazed that our system, technological, financial, manufacturing, suddenly has us dealing with shortages of critical medications. We should be way past this point. Half of the problem is false scarcity. Drug companies are sitting on tons of amphetamine to make ADHD drugs but pharmacies are having trouble keeping it stocked. The FDA is essentially powerless to do anything about it. 
learned this recently while trying to help my younger brother get his meds. The PA system on airplanes. Still can't understand a word the pilot says. Mostly he says up. The reverse microwave. To allow me to chill a beer from room temperature to fridge temperature in under 2 minutes. Beverage chiller DPB0148K37K2, 60 seconds work. Effective treatments to stop the progression of dementia. A family member of mine actually works in this field. Hearing them talk about it has given me a lot of understanding as to why it's so difficult, and why there is actually some hope in the near future for major preventative medicine. Lower back pain. Pain management in general is crap. Getting wireless inkjet printers to actually work wirelessly. I've had really good luck with my brother printer. Granted, it's not inchcut, laser, but it works flawlessly, even wirelessly. Best damn printer I've ever owned. My TV should have a button on it that pings the remote when it's buried 8 feet into my couch. This deserves so many more upvotes. That we don't just have universal interchangeable batteries for big devices like we do for small devices. Like why is AA and AAA and 9 volt everywhere, but every damn power tool brand has a different battery standard? Yeah, this one isn't a mystery. It's just money driven. Well let your customers buy your competitor's battery for $10 cheaper when you can make your tools proprietary. There is no mystery to the batteries. They are all using the same lithium ion cells, just arranged different for different voltage, and different interfaces between tools and battery. Should be able to have sparkling white, healthy, teeth, just by swishing something around in your mouth a few seconds. There was a tiff a while ago of a guy who used only mouthwash for years, never brushed, and thought that was enough. He posted the tiff of the day he found out he had like 10 cavities. Nerve damage. Pain relief in general. I developed severe chronic pain two years ago, and I had to explore with my doctors dozens and dozens of treatments and medications. Most did nothing, some worked for a few weeks or months. For many treatments, they don't even know why it sometimes works. Eventually, my nerve pain was so terrible that we found a surgeon to cut 5 or 6 intercostal nerves down my back and just shut off the signaling. It's the only thing that has improved my life in all this time. Bizarre that with all the detailed scientific knowledge we have, we just don't have a simple or effective way of tuning the nervous system. Where is the goddamned volume knob when I've been groaning and writhing in agony for a week straight? Very strange problem to try to deal with. I want a machine that washes, dries and folds laundry at the touch of a button. I don't know why. You can get me to do any chores. Dishes, vacuum, mopping, etc. Heck, I'd even say I enjoy doing most of them as a pastime. But laundry? I hate it for some reason. I'll still do it, no problem, I'd just rather not. Insomnia. Edit, it's been interesting reading everyone's suggestions but I will continue following the advice of the medical professionals I have been working with. I guess it's hard to cure because there are so many root causes and therefore so many different solutions. Like I've tried proper sleep hygiene and melatonin and that shit didn't work. However, Ritalin which is similar to amphetamine, makes me sleep within half an hour. My root cause for insomnia was dysregulation and racing. Intrusive thoughts. Dental work experience is still shitty. Bacon packaging. Good lord, yes. Hopefully you wanted 14 pieces all at once. Spam emails. Even worse, actual spam junk mail. Like fucking stop sending me physical ads. I just want a better solution than everything needing a power cord. Wiring things nicely so it's not a spaghetti monster is annoying beyond words. Also, please stop letting companies use wall wards for the power cord like one stroke to the time. 
I'd like to be able to use all the plugs on my strip. Till the term wall wart. Thanks. Pap smears and especially cervical checks in pregnancy. You mean to tell me no one can invent some kind of laser measuring system or ultrasound that can check my cervix, and instead I need an actual person to shove their arm up to their elbow in my vagina, wiggle their fingers around and just kinda try to feel how open it is? Bullshit. Also to jump on this, IUD insertion. Actually we have the tech. It's called medicating a potentially excruciating procedure, but in the US we basically tell women to suck it up. Barbaric. Edit to at, didn't expect this response. I'm so sorry tell who have suffered. I'm not sure why this still happens. Maybe all the women in the country need to go on strike or something so that doctors will do something different. Where is the ADA on this? OB Jinogs. A simple statement that women bring to their doctors could make such a difference. A house cleaning robot. I don't mean just vacuuming. I mean the whole lot. I want Rosie from the Jetsons already. A printer that fucking works. I just want a printer that I plug into the USB, hit Ctrl plus P, enter, and it prints out the document. No downloading apps and drivers. Setting up, finding the correct printer, despite there being only this single printer connected to the PC. If it works with a keyboard, mouse, webcam etc, why can't this work with printers? I worked as a technician at HP for a while. Whenever a new model released that was very good, one that we rarely had any calls over, was quickly discontinued. I recommended my dad to get one of those successful models to his business and 14 years later that printer is still there and working. Traffic lights. There's no reason anyone should be sitting at a red light when no traffic is coming the other way. They should be able to use real data to inform the timing of lights to facilitate the best flow of traffic. When I lived in San Diego over a decade ago, they had some pretty cool traffic lights. During rush hour, they worked pretty much the same. But during off hours, all four directions would have red lights. When you approached and it sensed your car, it would instantly only turn green for you, and quickly go back to red when no other cars were sensed going in the same direction. Having to type each letter in from the remote on the smart TV. Just no need. This drives me mental. A better solution for people w colostomy bags. Poor souls. Boarding airplane still basically the same crappy process it has been for 50 years. It's asinine that we don't board planes in order from back to front, window to aisle. All these idiots climbing over each other for no good reason. People sitting up front taking their sweet time in the aisle getting situated while a line of people stands behind them. And I'm so tired of full overhead bins due to people in the rear who panic fill a bin halfway back, and then have an empty bin above their seat. The fact that toilets are megaphones for the ass. Why can't we have a noise reducing toilet? I like, many Japanese toilets have a control panel on the side, think the captain's chair on the Enterprise, and one of the options to play some noise or music to cover up the sounds of booty hole moans. Having to work 8-5, 5 days a week, for 40 years. Wasn't the reason we created machines so that people could enjoy life more? HMM. It's so frustrating that RE could be used to get rid of the mundane things that humans don't like doing like auditing but instead it's being used to devalue the things humans enjoy, like art, writing, and more. That thing where you close a car door but you don't do it quite hard enough and the door catches but isn't actually fully closed. Why the fuck do car doors do that and why isn't it fixed? That's endemic to the way car door latch systems are designed. Basically there's two stages of latching. It's a safety feature. Cancer. Former, and still part-time, healthcare worker here. Hard cold truth. 
the incredible pace of disease eradication in the middle part of the 20th century was because we used our newfound tech to pluck the low hanging fruit. Everything left over is really fucking hard to fix, hence the much slower apparent pace. Cancer is a particularly tough one, and may never be entirely solved. Built in dash cams. Seriously. My car is covered in sensors and cameras but I can't get the one to that will record and save my well-being. We have very few defenses against viruses. Our best and nearly only way of preventing them is to provoke the body's own immune system into defense against them but we have no way to actually kill a virus infecting a person. The only thing we can do after you're infected is a cocktail of drugs to slow down virus replication and hope a person's own immune system is strong enough to survive the virus. In the future, T-cell B-cell transfer therapy might able to give you almost instant immunity from viruses. Like grow T-cells or B-cells in the lab to fight a specific virus and inject them to get instant immunity instead of waiting 3 weeks in the case of vaccines. Trying to call a number that's also trying to call you at that exact moment and neither of you get through. Then you decide to wait, and they wait too. After several seconds of both of you waiting, you decide at the same time to try again and the calls clash again. This is a problem that I haven't had in a long while, actually. But then again I haven't called anyone in a long while. I think that was supposed to be the technological solution to the problem. Just stop calling people. Wheelchair shouldn't the handicapped have functional robot exoskeletons by now? We kinda did, the abut, https colon slash slash, news, dot yahoo, dot com, slash the dash i dash bot dash a dash mission dash to dash revolutionize dash the dash wheelchair dash zero nine zero 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 two five five nine dot html close bracket and much like everything else in this thread, it was just too expensive. Disability won't even pay up to poverty level in most cases, so it's certainly not going to pay for a robotic exoskeleton. Why hasn't anyone invented a decent universal translator that you just pop into your ear? Something in the shape of a fish would be just prefect, I mean perfect. Are we traffic lights that monitor traffic conditions, not just follow a set sequence? Also traffic lights that shoot rockets at cars that block the box. It's 2023. There's no way to accurately track hormonal changes in people who used to menstruate and don't anymore. People with EDS, pre post menopausal those on birth control methods that stop your period. Basal body temp is both annoying and not the most accurate. Also menopause treatment. It's just a horror show. Even if you take hormones. The nightmares never cease as a woman. Male birth control. The NFL still uses chains to measure how close the ball is to the 10 yard mark. In a world of lasers, GPS and satellites tracking they still have to bring out the chains like some dark ages wizard. I know it's a matter of cost and physics but it's still a bit crazy to me we can't build roads that last. Cost, not physics they know how to do it, it's just generally not worth the money to do it. Teeth, cavities shouldn't exist. My last name has an apostrophe, and it's absurd that many databases simply can't handle it. The databases I work with personally can do it no problem but any government system messes it up. Sometimes they drop the apostrophe, sometimes it turns into a space or a string of characters. I have been unable to confirm my voter registration multiple times because the system says my last name is invalid no matter what I type in. Edit to at, also, my dad bought a house last year and had a hell of a time. Had to keep re-requesting documents with his name corrected because so many institutions recorded it differently. My wife had a space in her last name before we got married and it was also a pain. Sometimes the space was removed and the two words jammed together, sometimes a hyphen inserted, sometimes the first part would become her middle name and the last part her last name, some would simply drop the last part of her name. 
My sister also has trouble with stuff because she was born on leap day and some systems simply don't think it's a valid date. Putting a 3.5 headphone jack in cell phones. I wish my iPhone still had a 3.5mm output. Using wireless earphones? Nope, it's connected to your speaker still inside. Lol JK it's your car. Good luck figuring out if your noise cancelling headphones you're trying to use is the LT52344100 MK or the Tsosogngwagab. Printers. Computers have gotten easier to use, but printers are just as persnickety as the first one I got 30 years ago. It's a shame how many HP printers I went through before I got a brother printer. They're more expensive upfront but have much fewer problems.